Why, hello there. Do you do fish? Uh, I guess so. Well, there you go. Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. It's a bit cloudy and a bit windy, especially on the northern side, the Gulf side. It's a kind of blowy right now, so I'm hiding out over here. But today we are out for those uh, mangrove snappers to run on the air fryer. So I need a couple of 12 inches or so would be good. Maybe one, maybe two. We'll have to see how it goes. But before we get to that, we need to hit the bait shop and pick up a couple of grunts, hopefully. Uh, yesterday I did a bait run, just checking things out. No pilchards. Although I do see a pelican out there. Uh, but none working. But I didn't see any pilchards yesterday. Didn't see any pinfish, didn't see any mullet. So uh, grunt is it, I think. So I'm just gonna hit this area where I saw some. I, on the way over here, I did I only saw a couple of them, but I saw a big swarm of the little French grunts. I'd rather have a couple of bigger, regular grunts that I, cause I'm gonna use them for a cut bait. But uh, otherwise, that's the plan. I've got the pinfish rod. It's a cheap Chinese collapsible rod and reel combo I got for like 20 bucks off of Amazon put some four pound uh, mono on it so I could just tie a hook to the line and catch pinfish but today we're going to use it for some grunting look at that it broke already but uh, anyways that's the plan oh where'd they go I had to drop anchor I found some bigger uh, grunts while I was deploying the anchor they must have took off. Dang it, I bet you they're under those roots there, but let me get rigged up anyways, and those were perfect ones. Nice, pretty big size, chunky ones. Yep, I see them right underneath those trees there. Those are a good four or five inches. So, let me finish rigging up here. I've got some, one of my squid rolls defrosting. Whoa, whoa! He almost went over. Oh, they're right there. Oh, dang tree. Well, little one's getting it. I don't want your little ones. I would chum. I do have my chum stuff, but it'll attract all these mangrove snappers, which I don't want. All those little ones are going crazy all over it. Maybe those will attract the uh, bigger grunts. Ah. Which are these? I mean, these are perfectly good baits. It's just, that's the grunts that I'm wanting, but just bigger. Oh, there they are over there. They're sneaking up on me. Get this back. Come back. Dang it. They're like bonefish. Skittish. They're right there. I'm gonna bring my line in right in front of them. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, see it, look at it. Don't leave. Golly. I might have to throw the cast net on those. That might be even easier. Okay, I gotta bring it in front of them. Try not to freak them out. Oh, okay, he's gonna come. Come and get it. He's gonna eat it. Oh, oh, he's eating the sinker. Oh, yeah, big dummy. I'm gonna put a bigger chunk on for these guys. All right, I got some leftover chum here. Throw it in a big Ziploc bag when I'm done and works great for catching bait. Oh yeah, that brought him over. Yeah, now you're not going to be so picky. If you chum, they will come. Unfortunately, the mangrove snappers will come as well. All right, there they are. There's a big old school of them. Oh, 
Oh, oh, he ate it. He ate it. He ate the sinker. He ate the sink. Oh, no, no, I got him. Get in here. Get in here. Oh, the dream has come true. I am living the dream. That is a chunker. Grunt. I could. That can go in the air fryer. That boy. Man, that's getting. That's getting trophy size. That's one and done, really. But no. One more of those. All right, there we go. Nice one. Another nice one. Bam. That's how we do it. Use the D Hooker 5000. Get off there. That comes right off. And we are back in business. There's two. All right, I'll catch some of these little French grunts here. Oh, that mangrove snapper keeps coming over. There we go. These will be bite sized ones, so I'll use these whole. I'll get a half dozen of these and then uh, we'll start fishing. Oh, that was a little too little. Yeah, this is going to be a lot easier. All right, we moved to our spot here. Got anchored up. That was a bit of a pain, but we're set up by this kind of wraparound turn here. This is the uh, snook tree. Uh, it's a little bit better protected from the wind. So uh, we're gonna drop here and see what we can do. I got the chum bag out. Got a school of mangroves back there already. So let's see if we can catch a couple of keepers. All right, so since I've got these bite-sized grunts here, I've got a weighted circle hook already set up. I'm just gonna get this guy through the nostril like that there. We'll see if there's anything hungry back here. Well, you can see all the mangroves already. There are quite a few. Yeah, there's some decent chunk of ones down there. Oh, they're messing with my grunt. They're happy. lot of there's a lot of fishies huh how come nothing ate it oh it had weeds on it they kill it already yeah they killed it already all right I'll drop it down might be a little too big for the smaller ones but I imagine there's something pretty big down there it can eat it that's what we want. Oh, there it goes. Something's got it. No. Trying to eat it. Trying to eat it. There it goes. There we go. Yeah, we got our one bait. We got our fish already. We can go home now. Yeah, that's a keeper. Look at you, buddy. Perfect. Bam! All about the bait weighted circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. All right, we can go home. <laughs> but I think I'll play with a couple more here since I'm put in all that grunt work all 
right, this guy goes in the box because he's perfect. Got it, got it, got it. There it goes. Keeper number two. Keeper number two. And that's how we do it. Ooh, he's pink. He's been eating that shrimp. Pretty, pretty. All right, he'll fit perfectly. All right. Uh, I think we're done here. Moving on. All right, we set up to a new spot over here. I was here last night. I'm kind of my late evening tarpon spot. See if these guys are around, have a little bit of chum left over, a little bit of bait left over. I didn't even use the big, uh, the big baits. I could use those if I want to cut them. I'm gonna see if I could attract some stuff up here. There he goes. Oh, oh little mangrove. Not big enough. Erg. Something's got it. It's taking it. There it goes. What is it? Sharky shark. Tarpon got my tarpon. All right, let's see if we can not get eaten by a shark. on the flat. Hey buddy. I gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. Relax. Relax. Bam.
Oh. I don't want to give them shark vibes. There we go. Beautiful tarpon. Right in the top of the lip. Fall right out. Ah, maybe not. There it goes. There it goes, baby. Shiny star. All right. You got caught. All right. I get to go home now. All right. I think I am done. Still got plenty of sun, but the wind is picking up out here. Uh, we've got our mangrove snapper for our air fryer there. That one's nice and red. Shrimping. Got a couple of grunts left over, didn't use them. I just used those little small French grunts. Didn't use really the pilchards. Still got my full block of chum there, didn't even need that. I just used that little whatever was left in there from another trip, but yeah, let's pack on up and uh, get to doing some air frying. In case you're wondering what I'm wearing, I got the cut pinfish, although I use cut grunts, but pretty close. And the mangrove snappers in the cooler. Boom! All right, we're back home. Uh, first thing I need to do is get my flay table cleaned up. I've actually got a a flay table on top of a flay table. This is that new one that I just found in the mangroves uh, last month, but I've been working on this getting resurfaced, but uh, still got some more work to do on it. But this will be a different video. I have a project for this one and then my regular flay table there. So let me get this thing cleaned up and then uh, we'll get to flaying. All right, we've got our two mangrove snappers here. Got one's about 13, one's about 11 and a half. Nice pretty red ones there. So uh, let's get to filleting. Now I don't know if YouTube allows the blood and guts anymore. So let's do a quick snap fillet. And our fillets are done. All right, we are back. And let me introduce you to my Kasori Air Fryer Pro 5 Quart Edition. Uh, Amazon had these on special for like a hundred bucks during Amazon Prime, but then I saw they had a uh, open box special for 40 bucks. So I said, ah, can't beat that. I always wanted to try one, so I ended up picking one up and I've been loving it. Um, so what these are, are basically, uh, if you asked a DIY guy, okay, and, and showed him a microwave, but didn't tell you tell them how it worked, but just show how it worked, how quickly it could nuke food, and basically, all right, go to your garage and build something that does that. This is basically the, what they would come up with. All it is is you have a cooking basket. It's got a little stand so the air can circulate. Right above that here is they took a heating element off of the electric stove, one of those basically curly Q looking things that just heats up the glowing red. And above that is a bathroom fan. And all that does is sitting up here. So what happens is that element heats up, that fan blows air down, and that hot air goes into this basket and circulates around your food. And you get a really quick, fast, high intense heat surrounding your food all directions there. Um, so as an air fryer, basically it's a fryer. Uh, it's somewhat to replace your oil fryer where you got hot oil and you douse your food into it and it just impacts, heats all your food in 360 degrees there. Now that's kind of what these are supposed to do. You take your food, spritz it with some oil, put it in the basket and let hot air heat up that oil and your food at that same time and get that similar crispiness. Now you're not gonna get the same results as using uh, hot oil, but it gets pretty good results, but for way healthier because you're not dousing it in solid piece of oil there. So uh, a lot healthier in that regard. And I've been loving it. Uh, it's been working perfectly. I basically stopped using my oven, stopped using my microwave. I'm doing these basically one pot cooks. Um, so it works out great like that. 
uh, where I wouldn't probably say it's going to benefit if you are a family, three, four plus feet people because it's the smaller size. I think they make bigger ones, but then you're kind of looking at just going back to using your oven or whatnot. But because of the size, it's perfect for doing like a uh, couple of chicken breasts or a couple of assortments of two steaks. Um, you cook those up pretty quickly and then get a bunch of vegetables. Don't have to clean it, you just throw it in the basket and heat those up, cook those up, and you have these nice cooked, but then you got the crispy edged vegetables. So that's the kind of cooking actually you can do. It's very quick and easy. Uh, this has that no stick coating, so it's just a quick rinse and it's clean, and boom, you're ready to go again. So I've been using it a ton. However, one thing I wanted to try on it is fish, seafood. So I figured, hey, I know where I can get some seafood. <laughs> so I hit it out to the seafood market there, and that's what we did today. Caught a couple of mangroves, flayed them up. So now I'm gonna kind of give it a test drive through this guy here. So I think I'll probably do is do a few incremental videos of more complicated seafood dishes in this thing and see how it holds up. So that's the plan. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's cook some uh, mango snapper fillets. All right, so the accessories we're gonna use, I've got some diluted olive oil with water basically so it uh, sprays better in this little misting bottle. Got some salt and some garlic pepper. And that's all the seasoning that I'm gonna be using. So first off, I'm just gonna give the uh, bottom there a quick little spritz of oil. Then I, I'm gonna do vegetables first. And then I'm gonna do the, uh, the fish afterwards. So I've got some two different kinds of squash. So some of these bigger chunks of mushrooms in there. That's good. Give those a bit of a spray. Season them a bit there. And that's all we're gonna do. All right, so once we got the basket in, we could turn it on. Gives you this nice overhead display. There's already a veggies uh, preset option, 350 at 10 uh, minutes. And it has a shake, which is basically a warning halfway through your cook time to remind you to come and shake your uh, foods there. So we're good to go. Let's fire it up. You hear that hum? And we are cooking. All right, the alarm just went off, so it's time to shake it. So let's get to shaking. There we go, so that's the first half. You can be all nice and dainty and turn them one at a time, but I just shake it and shake it. And there we go. Put it back in. And to finish off our cook. Okay, our veggies are ready. Slide this back a bit. Open this up. There we go, our veggies are set. I'm gonna just put those to the side. And this is ready for some fish. And there we go, our veggies are done. So let's get on to the fish. Here we've got our beautiful mangrove snapper fillets. So once again, I'm gonna hit them with just a little bit of oil. Then we've got our salt. And a little bit of pepper. Because I'm going to spray the bottom, I don't need to coat the uh, fish on the bottom part of it, but keeping it really basic on this first run here, so I'm going to do two fillets at each time. Now this does have a seafood option, 350 degrees, eight minutes, but uh, these are thinner fillets, so I want to be a little bit careful but I also want to hit them with a little bit more heat, so I'm gonna try playing with it, go about 380 for about six minutes, and then with the shake, so at three minutes it'll tell me, and then I'll go ahead and flip them and see how it looks at that. That's one of the benefits of this, is it's so compact that you can check on things uh, whenever you want to, unlike an oven where you open the door and then you lose all the heat. 
uh, this builds its own heat really quickly so uh, a lot of times especially like doing chicken where you need to check the the with a the thermometer you could do that multiple times until you get it just right and then be perfect so I'm gonna play with 380 at 6 I'm gonna go ahead and preheat a bit and uh, so I get that bottom compartment really hot and then uh, I'll throw these fillets on. All right, I think it's heated enough, so I'm gonna open up the drawer there. And we are going to drop in our fillets. Sizzle, sizzle. There we go. Put that in there. And we've got 30, 80. I'm gonna actually kick it down a minute because these are pretty thin. And then I'll check it at halfway. All right, so we're down to the halfway point, so let me check on them. Ooh, that is cooking pretty fast. You can tell they've gone to uh, from translucent to uh, white. See how easy they uh, will flip over. Nice, yeah, this is not gonna take much at all. I'll probably only do like maybe a minute, minute and a half, and then uh, we should be good. Cooks fast. All right, we'll let it run for the two minutes there. Maybe less than two minutes. All right, I cut it off early. There we go. Get these guys out there. I don't want to overcook fish, especially fresh fish. Sizzling. Nice. All right, plate those up and then I'll do the other fillets. Still bendy and moist. Okay, we've got this one. And this one there. Another shredder. This one I'm going to try 400 for four minutes. Shake at two and we'll check on it then. All right, we're done cooking. And there you go, it's all ready to be cleaned up. Just a little bit of soapy water and it'll come right out. This uh, is just sitting in there with some little silicone stoppers that keep it from falling out when you pour stuff out. But it comes off so you can machine wash, hand wash. But yeah, no mess, no fuss. All right, I went ahead and uh, plated it all up for you. So we've got our mangrove snapper fillets on a bed of baby spinach. Uh, got some kimchi for a little bit of uh, zinger to it. Rice, a little bit of sesame seeds on top, and then our little uh, squash medley with some mushrooms. But there you go. Beautiful. Quick and easy. Um, I did 380 for roughly five minutes, and then I did 400 for four minutes and they're both just perfectly fine there so edges starting to crisp up a little bit there but still really moist on the center so that's exactly how you want it don't overcook fresh fish all right let's get a bit of this fish here still nice and flaky but really moist there perfectly cooked hmm Fresh fish is just so amazing. That is so good. Man. Nice. A little bit of nice healthy veggies. Not all mushy, still firm to it. Excellent. But uh, there you go. That is air fry mangrove snapper fillets. Quick and easy. Um, four minutes and they're done. But uh, anyways, keep an eye out for more air fryer and catching air fryer fish videos coming up. Uh, I'm going to try just different recipes, just different fish. Try things out, see how I, that goes. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye. Nom, nom, nom.
That fish is so good. Mm-mm-mm.